Howdy everybody and welcome to Thursday, April 21st. Got a little, few little projects that uh, we're going to do and get caught up on, so stay tuned. But first, we're going to go look at the kitties. moved her babies down in there in that windowsill yeah out of respect for mama kitty and her privacy with the babies and so she doesn't get a weird notion and hurry up and move them i've got five little kittens there uh some of them are colored like mom there's one that's orange uh, kind of a tiger stripe there's a black one with white spots there's yeah several different long hair short hair it looks like maybe i haven't really fooled with them yet but we got five baby kittens now on the farm. Do you remember back to your school days when they told you that water covered 70% of the Earth's surface? And did you also learn or know that that water is uncarbonated? It is. It's uncarbonated. So that basically makes it flat. <laughs> Several days ago in the mail, I got a little surprise package of something that I'd ordered off of Fleabay. Yeah, so let me show you what I got. I got a new overrunning clutch uh, the other day in the mail from uh, a supplier on Fleabay. I will admit to you I paid too much for that. Uh, the one I bought, this one here, I paid about $50 for. I kept looking for something less expensive on the market, couldn't find it. And uh, finally come across the, another one for 35 bucks from the same supplier after I'd already paid for this one. So yeah, live and learn. If you recall, about a year or so ago, one of these came loose on the back end of Stinky. It slid right off the PTO uh, shaft. It didn't catch on the little notch in the shaft with the pin that goes between the two uh, grease irks that holds the centerpiece on to the PTO shaft, which is the power shaft out the back end of a tractor. So yeah, anyway, it flopped around, scared the living bejeebies out of me. Kind of tore that one up a little bit. So that's why we got the new one. Well, let's see if this fits the back end of the Super M or if it takes a bigger shaft. Uh, the output shaft on this new overrunning clutch is the inch and three eight size, which I think this Super M actually is. Yeah, it is. It won't fit on there, I don't think, because this end fits like the little 8 end Ford, and it is inch and an eighth. Well, let's see if it'll... Yeah, it's not going to drop on there. Well, let's see if this lines up and fits. Hey, how about that? It's the same dead gum size. So evidently, by the time this 1954 Super C Farm Hall was built, they had standardized on that inch and three eighths PTO shaft size. Well, foo, it won't fit that one either. At least I do know it'll fit Stinky and the Ford 850. Well, at least I think it's the Ford 850, but I know it'll fit Stinky. The old Alice Chalmers Model C is nowhere near in running condition. But let's see if it fits on there. Yeah, hey, look at there. It fits on there. Yep, so. Yeah, what the heck's with this clutch? And it must need to be oiled and lubricated. Yeah, hear that clicking? That's the uh, ratchet action in it. So what happens is if the machine back here wants to keep turning and this doesn't, this thing will ratchet around and permit the PTO shaft to keep spinning without propelling the tractor off of this shaft here. Because usually these shafts are attached to the transmission or the final drive and if this whole thing keeps turning it will propel the tractor in whatever direction it was originally going. Even though I paid way too much for this one compared to that $35 one and it's the same thing from the same company, these buggers 
save your lives. Yes, they do, and a lot of wear and tear on your equipment. So if you don't have an overrunning clutch on a tractor that does not have a live power takeoff, you better invest in one. Just make sure it fits your PTO shaft. Yeah, yeah. I once knew a woman that had one of those newfangled tasers. Boy, let me tell you, she was stunning. <laughs> While I had that weed spur going on the back of the uh, riding lawn tractor the other day, I thought I would come around by the old homestead site and uh, spray some Canadian thistle. Well, what I found really about made me sick. I found a whole field of that big thistle, whatever it is that's growing. Yeah, there's a huge patch of it over here by these pine trees. Right down below these 60 plus year old pine trees here in the lawn is a big mess of those thistles. See all that gray stuff? Yeah, that's those baby thistles. And here is a fork of the top of one of them right there running down. Now these thistles get to be, oh, six to eight feet tall. Here is what's left of a stalk of one of the bigger ones compared to my hand. Yeah, I've had them even bigger than that. Needless to say, all those thistle plants, they were sprayed generously. I don't like to use weed spray as a general rule of thumb, but for some things like those thistles, I don't have much of a choice. And quite honestly, the organic mixtures with vinegar and whatnot, Epsom salts, don't work all that well on those. Yeah, you might as well pee on them for as well as that stuff will kill them. Well, after that 70 plus degree day on Monday, the weatherman was right. It turned off bitter cold again. Uh, yeah, I'm filming these in the evenings when I get home. Uh, yeah, it's just been cold, wet, and nasty again. Uh, they're talking maybe 80 degrees in a week, but we'll see. Uh, weather in southern Idaho is a very fickle thing. So you just take one day at a time, and like one weatherman said, you got a 100% chance of it every day. I was told recently that I look better without my glasses. Well, quite frankly, y'all look better without my glasses, too. Y'all do know I can't see you, right? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this little update on what's going on around the farm. As always, right down here in this bottom corner is that big red thing that says subscribe on it. I'd appreciate it if you would click on that to subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing here. And please leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment in the comment section if you would. As always, I uh, got these videos started so my grandkids would know what Grandpa was up to. And uh, you folks are tagging along for the ride. So anyway, I hope you do enjoy it. Um, but before I go, one last thing. The girls are fighting over me again at work. Yeah, so y'all be careful out there. Stay tuned and enjoy. Catch you later now. Bye bye. Are you ready? Are we going? We're going. We're going. <laughs> Give up more of a fight than Shelby did. Well, come on. <laughs> it was like a oh. stalemate there for a minute. <laughs> hey. No screaming this time. I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs>